Alright guys, how's it going? So we have a Johnny Appleseed Red Dead Redemption 2 Easter Egg. It comes in the form of a mission. Um, and I, I skipped through a bunch of the footage, just kind of brought ourselves right to the location where uh, we need to be. Now in this mission we have to find this kid called Jamie. And the mission is we once loved and lost three I think is what that just said. <coughs> But anyways, it deals with Arthur Morgan and a past lover of his. And this past lover of his needs uh, Arthur to go and help, or go and talk to her brother, Jamie, who's associated himself with these cult members. And... Um... It's, uh, it's kind of weird. At first, I started recording because I was like, oh, this could be like the start of Epsilon, or maybe, maybe the Baby Boomers, or whatever, the uh, Altruists, that's it, because they, they were on a mountain and shit, but anyways, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and watch uh, some of the video, and then I will be back uh, a little bit later on to kind of explain why I feel like this is Johnny Appleseed. And it has to do with the dialogue. But anyways, I'll let you guys go ahead and check out the video. And I shall be back later. Okay, so we've saved Jamie, and now uh, we're about to just take him back to his sister and let him kind of, uh, let him just kind of go on with his life, I, I suppose. <coughs> and now this is, this, this here is probably... 
probably like the most interesting part of the story I'd say just because I really wasn't expecting uh, Johnny Appleseed was not expecting that to show up but he fell in with a cult and fucking gave him some money and stuff like that and You know, he's just a kid that's looking for the answers, and what better way to go for a cult, right? So Jamie doesn't believe he's good at anything. And right here is where we kind of... Apples. He likes apples. He loves apples, actually. And now Arthur's like, what? Now this is where I stopped and I was like, wait. This has got to be Johnny Appleseed. I mean, yeah, I get it. His name's Jamie. But Jamie Gillis... But, I mean, he could easily change his name back then to Johnny Appleseed. I don't know. I believe that Jamie here, our friend Jamie here, is the one and only Johnny Appleseed. He likes apples. Um, not too sure. In fact, that's all we have to go on, really, is that he likes apples. Now... He's also got the pouch with him. Um, he's got just all white robes on. Um, I believe a lot of the descriptions of Johnny Appleseed has got him actually in like real clothing, not robes. But he does have a bag. He does have a bag. So that there's not much to go on that this is Johnny Appleseed, but. There's not, like, you don't need a lot to to pull Johnny Appleseed and this Jamie Gillis guy together and be like, oh, it's one and the same, the same fucking person. And then uh, I'm also going to be doing uh, a little run through about uh, Josiah, uh, god damn, what's his name, Trelawney, because I believe he is our uh, mysterious stranger, mysterious, or strange man from Red Dead Redemption and there are uh, apparently actually some reddit posts about uh, about Trelawney being uh, the strange man from Red Dead Redemption so I'm gonna read into those a little bit more uh, and probably do a video about that just because when I, when I first seen Josiah Trelawney I was like this guy looks familiar but anyways guys I'm going to go ahead, hop off the mic here, and let you uh, finish checking out this video. Let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments below. Do you think this is Johnny Appleseed? Because I personally do, and I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for the next ones, and thank you so much for stopping in. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you.
I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. 